Good morning, I hope you're having a great day. Today, we are gonna continue learning about mass. We are gonna be using these pan scales, and we are going to be measuring the mass of these three objects I've found around the classroom. We've got a blue ball, a Rubik's cube, and a dinosaur's head. I didn't know we had dinosaurs here at school, but I found this in my back room. So, these pan scales are balanced at the moment. But as you can see, if I touch the one side, they go out of balance. We are gonna be using these dominoes and counting how many dominoes each one of these objects that I've chosen from around the classroom weigh. And these dominoes are known as informal units. A domino isn't a formal unit, isn't a recognized unit of measuring mass but they will help us be able to measure and find out which object weighs more by how many number of dominoes we use. Before we weigh each object, I'm gonna ask you to estimate the mass of each object. And then we'll count it out using dominoes. We may not get these scales to balance exactly. So some of the objects may be 12 and a half, 20 and a half or 22 and a half dominoes, but we will get a close to how much each one of them weighs. So let's start. As I said to you, this blue ball here and this Rubik's cube we have. The blue ball is a lot bigger than the Rubik's cube. You can see that. But we don't know if their masses are the same or different. So we are going to experiment and find out. The first one I want you to estimate, that means take a calculated guess, have a good idea. How much do you think, how many dominoes do you think it will take to get these scales to balance? Let's see, I'll put the blue ball in the one side and we'll start counting. We're gonna count by ones. I'd like you to count at home with me. Let's go, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoa, we've got to ten dominoes yet, and we still haven't lifted up the blue ball. That means it must have a mass that is greater than ten dominoes. Let's go further. How many do you think it's going to take? Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Getting some movement. There we go. Balancing. 15 dominoes it took. So that means the mass of that blue ball is 15 dominoes. Perfect. Let's take it out. Now, let me get the scales back to balance before we start with the Rubik's Cube. The blue ball weighed 15. This Rubik's Cube is smaller than the blue ball. How much do you think its mass is going to be? What do you think its mass is? How many dominoes do you think it's going to weigh? Make a good guess. We are going to count by twos this time. I know you can all count by twos because I've heard you. So I'd like you to count along with me at home. Let's go. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, sixteen. So we've already got one more than the blue ball was. So it's already heavier. Its mass is greater than the blue ball, even though it is smaller. How many do you think it's going to take? 18, 20, oh, we're starting to get some movement on the other side, 22, oh, close, 24, not up yet, 26, oh, maybe 26 is a little bit too many dominoes. Let's take one out and see if that changes. 
And now we have it almost balancing and we've got 25 dominoes in there because we had 26, we took out one to get it to balance. So we'll say that the Rubik's cube is 25 dominoes. So its mass is greater than the blue ball. And the blue ball's mass is less than the Rubik's cube. So while I get out the dominoes, to balance these scales again, I'm gonna ask you to have a guess of how much you think this dinosaur head weighs. How many dominoes is it gonna take? We've had 15, we've had 25, Let's see. There, our pan scales are beautifully balanced again. We are going to put in this dinosaur skull into this side. And once again, we are going to count by twos. I'd like you to count along with me at home. No movement. So we know it already has a greater mass than this blue ball. Let's see if it has a greater mass than the Rubik's Cube. So we got up to 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, and 26 dominoes. Still, we have no movement on the side. So it has a greater mass than the Rubik's Cube. So far, it is the heaviest of our three objects. Let's go. 28, 30, I'm getting excited. We got above 30. 30, 32, 34, 36. Oh, there's a little bit of movement there. A little bit of movement. 38. Oh, 38 seems like a little bit too many dominoes. Let's take one out and see what happens. Oh, still not balancing. Let's take another one out. Oh, gone a little bit the other way. Let's put one back in again. There we go, almost balancing. So we had 38 in there, I took one out, then I took another one out, which left us with, correct, 36. But then it went a little bit too far the other way, so I had to put one back in again. We got up to 37 dominoes, that's correct. So, so far, this is the heaviest of our three objects. We had this one at 15, the blue ball. We had this one at 25, the Rubik's Cube. And so far, we've got that at 37 dominoes. So this dinosaur skull is the heaviest of our three objects. Which one is the lightest of our three objects? Can you tell me? Yes, this blue ball is the lightest of our three objects. It's not the smallest. The Rubik's Cube was heavier than it, but it is still smaller than the blue ball. So just remember that, that sometimes bigger objects are not always heavier. So we had our heaviest, we had our lightest, and this one, the Rubik's Cube, is in between. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little experiment with our dominoes. Have fun with maths. <laughs>